Hey, it's Andre, and well, it's a Friday flying update. Of course, it's Saturday. Unfortunately, Friday night, well, not unfortunately, Friday night was a date night for my wife and I, something of a rare treat that we take advantage of once in a while. Ah, uh, and as you see, holy mega warbird. Um, this is the Dynam FW190, the Folk Wolf. Yes. A friend of mine at the club had mentioned that he's trying to sell some airplanes. We struck up a really nice, awesome deal, and suddenly I have a 50-inch wingspan, 1270 millimeter winged Warbird. My very first Retrax plane. It is big and impressive. I'm, uh, I'm after I'm done shooting this video, I'm going to dig into it, set the uh, the receiver. Balance it out the CG, go over it a few things that the, that the previous owner pointed out to me. And hopefully tomorrow, permitting that uh, I'm not out training with James, it's going to go up and fly. Um, it takes a 4S, uh, it's got a 500 odd kV, actually specs say it is a yeah 500 kV motor, big 13 inch prop. So it's not a fast bird, but um, so I'm my 4S 22650s. Uh, will work plus the seller threw in two batteries so I now have four batteries for this plane to go with so that's super awesome uh, yeah I'm a sucker for a good deal I guess and voila big massive Warburger retracts um, I look forward to flying it I'll uh, do a further review but ta-da <laughs> uh, today uh, my boy James flew it was spectacular we had him out on the uh, Hubby, who uh, had to be repaired afterwards, and it wasn't James's fault. We had an antenna issue. I buried the antenna inside, and it just didn't. It stopped receiving, and unfortunately rolled over. The wing was crumpled. The back end was crumpled. But anyhow, it's all back together, and, and Cubby will go again. And James really enjoyed flying this one because it was a lot docile. We actually flew him on the FT Racer as well, which he was doing really well. But on my second or third toss, uh, I didn't. I had been trimming the elevator while flying, and I guess just. <laughs> It didn't lift, and bang, we took the back tail off it. So, I don't know if you see that from there. But anyhow, I'll fix the FD racer, and the, uh, the company will be back together very shortly. Tomorrow, weather permitting and, and time permitting, James will come out with me again, and we'll go at it. Um, but, uh, you know, it was fun. And the buddy box set up with dialed back. Uh, I dialed back James's inputs and everything. It really worked really well. We communicated really well. You know, you the plane, I've got the plane, oh, I'll take over and correct. And it was really fun, and he had a good time. So I'm hoping to be able to repeat that and just keep growing it and building on that experience because it's very gratifying. I asked him what he thought afterwards. He said it was actually neat. It was a little bit, you know, it's a little intense for anybody to start first trying. But with the buddy box, I could stand up and I could talk to him. And, you know, we worked on cycling left. We did a lot of left turns at the end and just, I talked about, you know, what you want to do in the field and how you want to control the remote and stuff. So it was really fun. I'm looking forward to doing it again with him very soon. I tried to get some video, but I'd forgotten about the camera and really was focusing on him. So next time, um, I flew the EFX Racer and I continue to, that's my new favorite plane. It is awesome. I'm still not sure what the 4S setup with the 2700 motor. Uh, the 5x5 prop and the 4S batteries, it's its too aggressive of a combination. I had to back my times down to about two and a half minutes, which is crazy. It's not enough time to actually fly the plane. Spec on that motor is a 4 and 3 quarter inch by 4 and 3 quarter inch prop. So I've ordered one to test it. I have a bunch of 4x5s, which if I have time this evening, I'm going to slap one on that plane and we'll give three more tests. If not, my theory is I enjoyed the plane more on the 3S setup versus the 4S setup. So we'll see. I do have a 4x5s. Uh, yeah, 4.5 4 by 4.5. Play with it and keep working on it and, and go from there. It is a ride to fly. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I, I, I've flown pack after pack through that plane now and I just thoroughly enjoy that thing. It is, again, when you've got this big monster, uh, you know, in the trunk. That plane is my new favorite backup. So things are really coming along, and I really enjoy flying that thing. And it's just, you know, it's an exercise. Your eyes are moving fast. I was actually asked um, this week by someone, and we were talking about it on the flight test form, you know, when do you know you're ready for that airplane? And my biggest comment was, you know, how's your vision? Um, 
how are, how are well are you at mentally tracking the airplane and everything and, and not getting your orientation lost and stuff like that. I lost orientation today. It was unnerving because I rolled out and I couldn't tell from the distance if I was coming or going and if I was upside down or not. But it, you know, the plane is like you slow it down and it's realistic and I had enough altitude that I was able to wiggle around. Oh, no, coming towards me. I'm right side up. Hammer on. Let's go. And I came back and did another nice pass. But got into the sun as well today and I was like, whoa. So it's, uh, it's one of those planes that can get out of your, your line of sight really quickly if you're not really on top of it. So, um, but nonetheless, it is exciting, it sounds great, and it ran really well. So getting over the initial hurdles, you know, once you've done that, it's a really awesome airplane. I should sit down and do a full review now that I've flown it enough, but uh, it's, uh, it's been a, re a rewarding ownership experience. So. Other than that, we'll get everything going. I haven't touched the S500, and we're finally into some beautiful weather, so I flew today and, and worked on the backyard to get everything all set up for, for the summer. So hopefully tomorrow the weather holds out and the wind holds out, and we'll get up. Um, was on the podcast this week with the Flight Test After Hours crew. Had a really good time, and I uh, hope to do a couple more in the future. So that's it. See you on the field. Enjoy your Sunday or Sunday. Thanks. Bye.